Hi, um, my name is Uba Gulad and welcome to my channel, Timeless Appeal. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about having confidence without makeup and without looking all glamorous and stuff. Um, I know that it can be hard sometimes, especially if um, you have like problems with your skin or you feel like, or your eyelashes aren't dark enough or something like that. I just think that it's a topic that a lot of us should talk about because it's really hard for females, I think, to be really confident like within themselves because of the pressures of society and what everybody wants us to look like. Uh, so the point of me trying to make this video is because I just feel like I've finally come to a place where I've accepted what I look like and I'm confident in myself, so I just want to share um, some of the things that have helped me um, become more confident and secure in what I look like and realize that looks aren't everything and you know work on myself so um, the first thing I think when coming to having self-confidence is realizing that um, the person who you're supposed to be with should love you for what you look like naturally and for what you have on the inside so um, even if um, yeah that's basically it um, I don't think that anyone should try to like change themselves or try to you know enhance themselves to look to you know please certain people right and I found myself trying to um, you know make myself look a certain way for guys because I felt like that would make me more appealing because I was insecure about myself and I wanted more of that like gratification that I was worth their time when in reality you know sh they should be worth your time it should be an equal playing field um, Number two, I don't think that, um, I think that makeup sometimes makes us even more insecure than we, like, than confident. Um, if you're always trying to, like, put makeup to make yourself feel more confident, eventually you're just going to not feel confident at all without the makeup. So, um, what I started doing is I'd say, like, one day a week or two days out of the week, I would go out with, like, nothing on my face. Um, and yeah, I guess you could choose which days you want, but, like, you'd have to go out just as is, um... And probably like pull your hair back and draw attention to your face because really um, if you like hide behind like a lot of hair or like your you know jewelry and stuff like that it's not really gonna have the same effect as you just you know with your hair back and your face like to the world. Um, number three I think um, stop comparing yourself to other people on social media and stuff like that. I really think it's very dangerous and very self-harming if you are constantly trying to look like people. And the thing is, nobody looks alike. You're gonna be, you're gonna look like nobody. There's so many different forms of beauty, and I think that people forget that, and they all want to look like one certain type of beauty. But in reality, nobody likes the same thing. Like everybody likes different things. So someone is gonna like you how you look like naturally. And I don't think that everybody should be getting lip injections and looking, trying to look like a Kardashian to look beautiful because they're not the only types of beauty. And if anything they've enhanced themselves to look like the way they look like. They don't look like how they are naturally. So if you try to look like them, you're not actually trying to look like them. You're trying to look like a manufactured version of what they look like. And that's all celebrities and all people on Instagram and stuff. They filter themselves out. They have hair extensions, fake eyelashes, everything about them, like on the surface that you see has been enhanced. So don't think that anybody actually looks like that because very few people look that, you know, perfect in real life. Um, yeah, and I guess uh, just for, I guess, younger people and stuff who are worrying about, you know, trying to please, like, guys or women that they're interested in, like, and I don't necessarily think it's women on other women if you <laughs> are gay, and I don't think, I think women can, you know, have an understanding in terms of, like, the standards of beauty and, like, the pressure, so I guess it'd be more directed towards women who are interested in men and who are trying to please men with their makeup. I don't think that, um... If you're trying to find like a long-lasting relationship, it's really going to be worth that. So, okay. So another thing that I want to talk about is um, the standards of women in the media. Um, I really think that um, people of a darker complexion and people who are, you know, black or African American, um, really don't have that kind of recognition in the media and that kind of sense of beauty. Um, I feel like all that, all the beauty that we see nowadays is. Um, white women or other ethnicities with black features who are beautiful but you never really see like truly black people 
Um, and I don't think Beyonce or Nicki Minaj or Rihanna are really ideals of black beauty because all of them have a fair complexion as well as weave and hairstyles that not every black woman is going to be rocking, right? Um, so I really think that it's really hard for young black girls to really have, you know, that kind of, you know, role model or people to look up to in terms of finding their own self-worth because even like when you when you grow up you always look for people who look like yourself so you can kind of put yourself in their shoes and when you watch television or media or any type of like programming like that like on Disney you always kind of look for people um, who look like yourself so you can kind of put your image in them and if all you ever see is like blonde girls or like other ethnicities getting like recognition and are being called beautiful and you don't really have that it's kind of like detrimental to how you've been brought up but I'm making this because I want to tell people who look like me, especially young women who look like me, that um, you are beautiful and if anything, um, everybody's trying to look like you. Everybody's trying to get a bigger butt and bigger lips and more enhanced features that of black women have naturally and it's not like you see people saying Kylie Jenner lips are, peop are, are the big lip trend, right? It makes no sense because black people have that naturally and she got hers through lip injections. So same with Kim Kardashian, like they're all trying to look like black women but yet the black women don't really get the recognition which is very upsetting to me and it pisses me off quite frankly. Um, not only that, it's just the fact that like they're also getting spray tans and everything to make themselves look like, you know, women of color but yet women of color are not getting any type of, you know, praise or any type of like representation in general. And you see like here and again you see like Lupita you see like other people who look like the majority of black women you know who have a brown or darker complexion and who rock their hair naturally because no black woman has naturally straight hair has that kind of style of hair you have like curly hair you have like different textured hairs but you never see that represented in the media so I'm trying to tell you that you are beautiful and that you have the choice to rock yourself naturally like I think that being natural in terms of like your hair and your beauty is something that's so important because of course it's nice to like you can wear a weave you can wear all these things I'm not hating on you if you wear extensions or change your hair or straighten it but sometimes you should really you know try to like be how you look like naturally like how you were born right um, all the features that you have that nobody else has so I'd really I really want people to be confident in what they have because um, black people are the only people who have this type of like hair and these types of you know looks to them and we should really be celebrated and we should be celebrating that with each other and I don't think black women should be you know hating on each other like I think that it's a very like natural hair versus like weave and I don't think that's okay I think that there's different types of beauty but I believe that if we all learn to love ourselves naturally then when we enhance what we look like it'll be fine like you're, you're not going to need that for that self-assurance part you know it's not like if one day you didn't have your weave or one day you didn't have your makeup it you'd be without you know you don't need to be so self-reliant on that and what ha like you should think that one day if you don't have these things what are you going to do what are, what's going to happen to you how are you going to be confident so that's the main thing you should learn how to be confident in yourself and really not rely on these things for your beauty because deep down it's literally what type of person you are because nobody's gonna want a vain person in their lives nobody's gonna want to have that around like nobody wants those types of people as their friends or in or as their partner in a relationship so beauty is one thing but um, which we all should just be really appreciative of our natural beauty and what we actually look like and makeup I think is very it's a pro and a con because it can make you feel really confident but at the same time without it you'll be left with nothing so take that with a grain of salt and thank you for watching this video um, I hope that some people who are watching this are really gonna learn that it doesn't matter what type of complexion you have or what type of hair color you have that you are naturally beautiful because that's what you look like and you can't look to surgery and stuff to really help you with that because you'll never be satisfied um, so just learn to just accept what you look like and glam or don't glam, you know, I really think that you should just learn how to love yourself naturally and then work from there. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe or comment 
what you think of the video, and I'll catch you later. Bye.